Hi guys, I have got a doll kind of unveiling for you, um, an AG doll unveiling. Um, there's going to be two separate videos, but recently um, one of our local Once Upon a Child posted a whole bunch of American Girl dolls and um, said that they had just purchased a huge or a large, a rather large collection from somebody. And there were two specific dolls that I noticed on there that we did not have. All of them were named dolls. What do you have, Sushi? Oh, she found a fuzzy. Um, all of them were named dolls. And I'm looking at it, and all of pretty much all of the named dolls that they had, we had minus two. And this was on a Sunday, and we have a family dinner with um, family every Sunday night at our house. So I wasn't able to go that day and I was talking to my husband the next day and he's like, I doubt, he's like, first of all, how much are they? And I go, I commented asking and they never replied. And he goes, well, I doubt they'll there, they're still there, but tomorrow we can drive down. It was in Austin to see if they still have them. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. So we got up the next morning, we drove down to Austin and we got there just a little bit after they opened and I walked in. First of all, before I walked in, I'm like, okay, what's my budget? And he's like, $50 each. If they're over $50 each, you've got to pick one. So I'm like, okay. Well, I walked in and I asked for the first one, which was the one that I wanted for my daughter. And the lady handed it to me and it had a $30 tag on its neck. I'm like, ooh how much is the other one? The same, $30. So I'm like, I will take both. Is there any more American Girl stuff? And she goes, uh, we have like some off brand stuff here, here and here. It was like some big play sets, kind of like, um, the, I think they had one of the Jeeps. I think they had like one of these um, scooters. And then underneath that is actually the food truck. And then, um, they had like a couch set and stuff like that. Some of like the big things, honestly, I wasn't interested in. I was just wondering if they had any other clothes. Um, and they did not, They well, they did have some non-American girl brand name clothes. So I did pick up, um, I'm, going, I'm not gonna show them quickly. I did pick up two pairs of pajamas because I did actually need two extra pairs of pajamas because in my dollhouse right now, I don't know if you can see behind me, everybody's in pajamas right now. And I needed two more pairs of pajamas. So I grabbed those. Um, so one is on Gia and one is on another doll that's up on the top. Um, so anyways, I grabbed those and then I grabbed this and this was the doll for my daughter. It's going to be her Christmas, one of her Christmas presents. And she already knows about it and she's fine with it because this is one of the friends she was missing. And I think this is the last friend she was missing because she's got Ivy. She's got Emily. She has Elizabeth and she has um i can't think of samantha's right now <sighs> nelly she got nelly last year and so i have not really done anything to her her hair is actually in pretty good shape it came this way i it could use a little bit of zhuzhing honestly if next time i go up to the store i might take her up to get her into her original hairdo because somebody said that the stores can recreate her bow. Um, so I might have to do that because she did not come with her hair ribbon. But other than that, she came in her complete meet. So that's Rufy, um, Kit's friend. She does, her, her bloomers are a little stretched out. So I might have to find another pair of those. The elastic is stretched, um, but they're fine for now. She has her beautiful purple dress, floral dress. I absolutely, her dress is gorgeous. I've always thought her dress was gorgeous. Ruthie herself is gorgeous. She's got like these blue gray eyes, similar to Molly's. Hopefully you can see them. And then like this dark brown hair. Honestly, she reminds me of my daughter, like hair and eye color. Um, and then my biggest thing was she came with her meat shoes and her meat socks, which I about like for $30, she came completely in her meat. I about passed out. Like I thought they were going to ask way more for her and was complete and utterly shocked. It was only $30 because I actually have a pair of these shoes that I'm gonna now sell that I had purchased because um, 
somebody was listing a lot of stuff they had gotten a lot they weren't interested in really making money off this lot basically it was one of um the seller had bought a lot of stuff on ebay for like a couple things in this lot and they didn't want the rest of the stuff they didn't want to part out the rest of the stuff basically they knew how much the stuff they wanted was worth and they just wanted those things and they just wanted to make a little bit of their money back and they sold the rest of the stuff out cheap and I actually got Ruthie's shoes in that lot and I want to say that I paid like not even $15 shipped for the whole lot um, that included Ruthie's shoes. I mean, I wanted it for Ruthie's shoes mainly, but there were some other things that were non-American Girl brand that I thought were super cute and I absolutely loved. So I ended up keeping everything from that lot. Um, but they knew they were Ruthie's shoes. So they were just like, yes, these are Ruthie's shoes. They were in really good shape we just have no use for them so we're just gonna pass on we're keeping what we want and we're making a little bit of our money back on what we paid i don't know how much they paid for the whole lot that they got on ebay because sometimes you do get deals on lots on ebay that um a parent or a friend just knows that this is american girl sized stuff so they throw it all in one lot and list it for like cheap i've gotten a few good deals that way myself um, you've got some resellers that know that, hey, these shoes are worth $25 alone, so they part it out. But, like, um, that is actually how we got Nellie, is I only paid $10 for Nellie. I got her off Facebook Marketplace because the, the seller just was trying to get rid of her and didn't even know what doll she had. I mean, I will eventually need to send her in because her legs are so loose, they're literally dangling. Um, but then I bought the rest of her complete meat from another seller who did know who, what she was having. It was her and her sister um, had a massive collection from their childhood and they were just trying to get rid of stuff. So she sold me the complete meat, like bloomers, dress, hair, ribbon, shoes, everything for Nelly. Um, I believe tights too, everything for Nelly for like $30 shipped. Um, so I only had $40 in Tendali which still a little bit more than this Ruthie because what the, the, the biggest thing is these socks. Um, I had wound up with these socks because I had purchased them from um, the consignment store back home like years and years ago. I didn't even know they were Nelly socks. I'm sure they didn't even know they're Nelly socks. They used to do where they would take and like buy a bunch of American Girl size stuff or 18 inch stuff and American Girl stuff and they would just stockpile it, stockpile it, stockpile it. And then they would have what they called American Girl Day where they would just close the rest of the store down, move everything out of the way, set up these tables and all it was was American Girl stuff. Um, and I purchased this bag and it had some Bitty Baby slippers in it and Nelly socks, which were both the same color. So that's probably why they paired them together. And I think they were marked $1.25 for both of them. And like I said, I didn't know they were Nelly socks. I'm sure they didn't know they were Nelly socks. And I, I'd held on to them for many years, not knowing what they were. And finally, I'm like, I need to figure out what these are to sell them. And it turned out they were, or not Nelly, um, Ruthie's socks. And it turned out these socks are like worth $35, just the socks. Like, as soon as somebody saw them, like I had people fighting over them. I actually had people DMing me like, oh my gosh, I'll pay you $50 for them. I'll pay you this for this. And I'm like, no. The first person that messaged for the amount that I had said initially, I'm not going into a bidding more and getting into trouble. But so her socks were worth quite a bit. Um, so I was super ecstatic to find her in such good condition for $30, yeah. Since it wasn't marketplace and it was a store, I did have to pay the tax on it, but I am perfectly fine with that. That is okay because she is in immaculate condition. Like I even showed Heather and Heather's like, she came in her complete meat and I said, yes. And then at first when I came in, got back in the car, I showed my husband and he's kind of in it. And I'm like, no, you need to understand Ruthie and her complete meat, just minus her hair bow with her socks and her shoes. I said, she can go for quite a bit. I want to say a hundred to $150, probably in this condition because she does, she does have a little bit of a loose leg but not horrible. Her other leg is actually good. Her arms are good. Her eyes are good. 
So in this condition, I could probably easily get 150 for her. So this will be my daughter's Christmas, one of my daughter's Christmas presents. Like I said, she knows about it. She'll probably forget about it. Um, we have only two more spots up there. One more after her. So she, I'm like, hmm, after this, we're done. And she's like, no, we're not. I will figure something out. So I don't know what that child's got up her sleeve. Well, she told me she's going to start giving dolls to me and my son for um, holidays, her dolls to us. And then when I die, she can have them all back. I'm like, child, you're a mess. But so here is Miss Ruthie. And I, yeah, Ruthie. This one's Ruthie. I'm thinking Nellie. I keep getting, that was the thing. Like why they use Nellie and Ruthie. Yes, I get they were period names, but they're so close that I, in my brain, I get it mixed up. So I hope you all enjoyed this kind of unveiling and I will see you all later. Bye.